Ryan, let's take a look at this new meter I got. I found this on clearance for $59. So for a backup meter for that price, it's definitely worth a try. Keysight's supposed to be a pretty decent brand. I don't think this model is anywhere near the quality of a fluke or whatnot, but that's that's not really what I'm looking for, just for an extra backup meter. I think they retail for around 120, 140, but I don't know if it's an old model why it was on clearance at Fry's Electronics, but $59, as long as it doesn't blow up in my face, it's uh, it's well worth that. Go ahead and open this up and we'll take a look at it. It was the last one they had. I was actually going to buy another one for a co-worker who wanted a backup meter, but they didn't have any more. I th think they still have them on the website though. It does have a low Z function, which is kind of handy. That's starting to become a little more common. This model doesn't have current, um, which I, it's not too often that I actually use current. And if I need to, well, you know, I've got, I've got the fluke meters for that. I've also got clamp on, so um, it's a little bit bigger than I want it. But open those leads up. Let's feel the quality of those leads. And I guess it's got some Bluetooth or USB in it. I don't know what that is. Some infrared interface. That's a flashlight. Oh, that. Well, that might be kind of kind of handy, actually. So, what is the, is this the? Uh, we'll have to read the directions and see what that's about. Yeah, so a flashlight might be a little bit handy. I don't know. I think a flashlight on the meter lead would be more handy. So let's check this out. Um, you know, that's not really a bad quality meter lead. Uh, not quite on the level of a fluke, but that's it's not bad at all. It's a lot better than, than this crap gold. And we've had this for about 20 years. It's a lot better than this, that's for sure. This old craftsman. All right, go ahead and pull these off. Let's check out the uh, meter lead probes. So it looks like they've got a little protective shroud. Um, I used to do that with heat shrink before they invented these. Twist that. These retractable shrouds on the flukes are pretty cool. All right, let's see about that light. Right, let's, yeah, let's turn it on first. Press that button. Ah, if you hold it for a second, that's pretty cool. I don't know how much it is. Yeah, it puts out a decent little bit. Cool. Okay, so one press does the backlight, which is pretty dim, actually. Uh, and then a hole does the LED. I don't see any indicator on the front that that LED is on. Um, let's compare this backlight. This one's this one's got a much better backlight. That's a newer newer fluke. This old one's got. Of course, this battery may be low too, but this old one's got kind of a lousy backlight. That battery may be low. I, I barely even see it. And this this backlight's not great, but I guess in dark conditions it would be okay. Um, certainly doesn't <laughs> look like that. But uh, uh, let's 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 make it a little darker in here. Okay, so yeah, I mean that that's plenty in a in a dark condition. That's plenty good. Try this one out, it's a little darker. Yeah, so. Okay, they're just not quite as bright as that, that new fluke. They're good. Okay, so we got a little bit of paperwork with it. Nothing too important. Uh, Agilent has become Keysight. 
some calibration certification and then a little uh, quick start guide so we'll look into that a little bit see what's up with this uh, Bluetooth go wireless I don't I don't have anything that that does that so maybe that's a neat little feature I don't know yet maybe it's just a gimmick that's useless not sure um We'll fire it up and we'll test some voltages with it and check it. Um, first impressions are that's not that's not bad. I mean, for fifty nine, I'd I'd buy it all day. I don't know if I'd pay one forty for it, but uh, the leads are decent quality. The uh, it's got a nice feel to it. The dial feels good. Low Z. Maybe we'll plug it up to that and check some voltages. Alright, we'll plug this little uh, adapter in. And we'll check. We've got a Variac here. Let's pop these in here. So I'm going to turn this. Right now this uh, volt panel up here is turned off. It's turned to the uh, step up transformer. Which is off. Let's turn it to the Variac. Climb it up to 50. Cool. 141. Let's check frequency. 60 hertz. Awesome. All right, what we'll do now is we'll unplug this and then just stick them in here. This is the step up transformer output. Let's turn that on. And our DC rectifier is turned on as well, which is over here. That's our DC volt readout. That's our uh, DC current readout, which there's a 30 microfarad cap in there, DC uh, film cap. So you see a little bit of current. All right, so 326 volts AC. Let's switch this to DC and pop it in here. Four thirty-eight. Now the DC will climb down slowly because right now that cap is just dissipating through this, but. Cool. Crank it back up. And let's turn that off, that off. And this will drain that cap pretty quick. Yeah, I like this little meter. For the price, for 59 I like to stick with Fluke, but um, I haven't seen a small... The only small, compact, cheap Fluke I've seen is a Chinese version. It's not for sale in the U.S., but I have seen it on eBay and maybe even Amazon. I thought about getting it. It's around $60. Um, this I don't intend to do anything major with. Uh, just a nice backup. 